Yo, what's good guys? It is JD here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Nomi Spent Road to Glory and the Glitch Reality Mystery Season has taken an incredible turn today. 2K have added in an XP challenge for 150,000 XP. And of course, if you guys don't know how much XP that is, it's exactly how much you need to get Dark Matter JL Smith. That's mental. So we're going to talk about what we know about that because at the moment we really don't know too much about it. But I will give you guys what actual concrete information there is about that. Also, we've got to do our level 26 essential board because it is another day, another level, not only level 26, already level 27, and just 1600 XP away from level 28, which is Pink Diamond Eric Bledsoe, so we should be having him tomorrow. And then 2K dropped some new mystery packs, so Tuesday looks like it's going to be new content every week. Thankfully, no super packs, and it was headlined by a Galaxy Opal Dominique Wilkins. I did open up some packs, as we always do, and we got nothing. So that was big sad. So plenty to get through today, and they also added in quite a bit of XP as well. So yeah, plenty to get through today. If you are new to the channel, boys, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. We are just like 500 subs away from 30,000, which is awesome. That's a very big number. So if you are new, we stream out here pretty much every day and videos every single day as well. And a huge thank you to the goats of the channel for their support. Eric, Jason, Cody, Spooky, Caleb, Liam, Josh, Trevor, and a special shout out to my guy, Aiden. Now, one thing to note before we even jump into it, Double Vault event is today. There is one more window by the time you guys are watching this video. Actually, it might be a window while you guys are watching this video. 10 p.m. till 12 a.m., but this is GMT, so you'd have to convert. And then 2 a.m. till 4 a.m., GMT. MT. And that is the first time there's been a double vault event since Wayne Embry in season three. Who knows why that took so long, but finally it is back. So here we are in terms of XP, a uh, little bit away from uh, Eric Bledsoe, so making really good progress. So today they dropped three challenges for Russell Westbrook. So 750 XP for each of these, 35 points, 14 rebounds, and 21 assists. Haven't done that just yet, but we will do so in the not too distant future. Mystery Group 1 is here to do with the mystery cards that came out today. So Darius Garland, uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, uh, Multiplayer Magic Centers, uh, Nikola Vucevic, Hawks, Small Forwards in Domination, and Dominique. And there's a new weekly challenge, which is pretty cool. So every week on a Tuesday and a Friday, we're going to get a challenge, which is going to give us a free pack. I'm not mad at that, man. Not mad at that at all. Uh, we come down here. We've done six games of Domination now, making progress. We've done all seven games of Triple That Offline. And then we've got this 150,000 XP challenge. Now, you can see the runes. There's two different sets of symbols. There's a top over the uh, timer, which is three symbols. And that says key. And the one underneath the timer, above prize, says guard. So it's key and guard. And then if we come over here to the reward section, you will see glitch reality and then Tyron Lu. So Ty Lu is there. It is a gold card. He is in the glitched market. And 2KDB did tweet out saying that Ty Lu is needed for that 150,000 XP. So you guys know how this season the glitch market is there with Dark Matter, Taco Full, Pink Diamond, OG Ananobi, Pink Diamond, Frank Nilakina, and Frank, uh, not Frank, Pink Diamond, Miles Turner. So it's got four cards in it so far. It's now got five with Tai Lu added in there as well. What you need to do when you get Tai Lu, who knows? And of course, it is still completely RNG as to whether or not you get the, uh, you get the vault, or not vault, the uh, glitch market to actually show up. So more RNG. More uh, confusion, more questions, no answers. Very much all over the place, but they have added in an XP for 150,000 uh, XP, which just looks mental. Triple that offline, we're now 915 games deep, and domination, we are six games deep, as I showed you guys. So set one is out of the way, and set two is here. We actually lost a game, which is so frustrating. Uh, I think we lost this game right here against the Jazz, and we had to replay that. We lost by like two points. Very frustrating. Uh, but yeah, we're back at it again, and uh, now we're, we're starting to cruise, which is good. And in terms of the new weekly challenge down here, mystery pack, and it's literally a 50-point triple threat game for a free pack. So that is brilliant, and hopefully 2K make that a weekly occurrence. Uh, nothing going on in Unlimited or Limited for me. Triple that online with 5-1, and one, so maybe I'll push up and try and finish that board in the hopes of getting Julius Randle. But let's be real, I don't think we ever go and get that card, man. Let's be real. Right, we've got a few packs to open up here, a lot of them being jerseys, which I'll probably open up, open up uh, off camera because I don't think we really want to be seeing me open up all of those. I'm not really too excited about any of them. I've heard the Mavs one's really good. I've heard the Blazers one is quite nice. We've got a Flash 7 pack out of the vault. James Harden on the pack. James Harden not in the pack. Duncan Robertson, not quite the same. Definitely not quite the same. 
got a lot of badge packs to open up though so let's open up some of these now we sold quite a few badges yesterday um flocky 5000 out on twitter if you guys don't know him do go ahead and check him out he does an entire badge list of every badge in the game with its price bronze silver and gold so you know being able to go off that and just Check straight away in your club if you've got those badges. Makes it so much easier. So we've sold a few. So we are going to be getting ourselves a little bit of MT in this video. Pick and Roller is definitely not one of the badges that is actually expensive. So we'll open up these two. And then we'll go ahead and put in the locker code that 2K have dropped tonight. Which will then take us straight into the level 26 Ascension Board. Bronze Intimidator. That's not worth anything. But obviously it is still a nice badge. Yeah, level 26 Ascension Board. Now obviously so far we've had absolutely nothing. And I do mean nothing. It has been so, so bad and useless. So we've got two cards there that I tried to sell, which sadly didn't sell. But we come down here and we sold Westbrook, because obviously he has got XP challenges. Hot Zone Hunter, Green Machines going for a little bit, Rim Protectors going for a little bit as well. So it just helps keep the MT afloat, keeps us, uh, well, basically pays for the packs that we opened up today. We opened up five, as I mentioned. Only an 8% chance. 8% chance of a 92 rate or higher, whereas here is 11% chance. So 3% chance extra. That, 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 that kind of sucks, man. That kind of sucks. Right, as for this locker code, as usual, it is not a guaranteed pack. It is a pack, a badge pack, or some tokens, which, you know, I think we all want to see just guaranteed packs. Like, is it is it too much to ask for one pack a week? I guess we get that from the weekly challenge. Yeah, as long as they continue that, I'm not going to be mad at it. But we've got this, and then it is X. Is that G or 6? Six? 6, I hope. I hope. Please be right. Okay, cool. Yeah, we got that right. And there we go. It takes us straight to the Ascension Ball because we had it locked. And we go with 10 picks. We're going to go middle. Okay, with plus 1. I'll go top. Right at the top right here. Okay, just, just, just get me to the top board, man. We've been to the top board once this entire season so far and even when we got there we got absolutely nothing i think we got one decent pack it wasn't even decent it was just a throwback moments pack that was it so come on 2k make this the time we get to the top board and we get something good diamond shoes are so expensive so a diamond shoe pack would not go amiss or a diamond concealers pack wouldn't go amiss and that is nine picks remaining moving up to the moon boy Going up to the final board, level 26 Ascension board, can we clutch ourselves a Billy Cunningham card? The reason I say clutch is because if you get one this early, obviously we've still got another two this season, level 30 and 36, I think. Uh, if you get a duplicate, you got yourself a duplicate Galaxy Opal, and that is awesome for the exchange in later years, or later seasons, later years, imagine, later seasons. So, nine picks to go, nine picks a dream. Now, previously, we've got... Uh, Adrian Dantley last season and he was right in the corner so obviously he's not going to be there this time but 500 MT we're going to go for this line because I think that's what we did I swear there was a throwback moments pack there exactly the same spot last time as well I'll take a free pack he's not bang in the center or maybe it wasn't in the corner we got him. grand prize we got him level 26 galaxy opal Billy Cunningham let's go I was just saying it would be clutch if we managed to get him because we've still got two more chances to go and we could get a dupe and we got him. Let's go. Four picks a dream. That's all it took. Let's go. All right. That is really, really nice. Like I said, not just for now, but moving forward in the future. That is brilliant. Oh, my God. Look at these fouls we're racking up. I mean, I've got to go for the corners because I've got to continue. I've got to finish this pattern off. But there we go, we've got two throwback moments packs, and uh, that is going to do it. So really, really bad, but we got ourselves a free a Galaxy Opal card. Oh, let's go. In terms of his actual stats, I can't really remember them off the top of my head. I know he's a 6'6", small four power forward. Oh, let's go, and we're getting the mystery pack as well. 2K, you're too nice, you're too kind, man. God damn, we never get the packs from that, but... Hey man, I would I would take that. I would take that very nicely. So let's open up these throwout moments packs. Then we'll open up the mystery pack. Then we'll open up our brand new uh, Galaxy Opal card. Jeez, jeez. So yeah, six six. You don't want to play him at power forward. Too small, but small forward should be fine. I don't know exactly what the stats are, but we'll be able to take a look in just a second. Oh, that's big. I. I think it was season one, we managed to get Bob Lanier on the level 22 Ascension board. But then Adrian Dantley last season, I think it was level 30 or it might have been level 36, I can't remember. 
But uh, getting them this early is a very, very good sign. So there's our mystery pack with absolutely nothing in it. That's no mystery. But here is a Galaxy Opal card. Galaxy Opal, Billy Cunningham. Let's go. Opal Glow is our third essential board reward. We're on season six. It's our third one. We've got Bob Lanier. We've got Adrian Danley. And now we've got 98 rated Billy Cunningham. If you guys remember his card last year, he was an Evo. We had that. We did that, I think, which took him up to an Opal. And now we get an Opal straight out the gate. Let's get it. Let's see what the stats are saying on him. Because like I said, I can't really remember. Oh, we got four. Oh, we got Bill Walton as well. I don't even remember getting him. The only ones we haven't got are Connie Hawkins and Bob Love. Oh, my bad. Uh, right, so 6-6, six, six, as I mentioned. 33 Hall of Fame badges. Catch and shoot, corner specialist. Uh, Clamps, Heart Crusher, Intimidator, Rebound, Pogo, Contact Finisher, Giant Slayer, Showtime, Quick First Step, Tight Handles, Unpluckable. Uh, does he ha He must have, like, range and stuff, surely. Yeah, he does have range. So what badges does he actually need? I guess, like, Stop and Go, Dead Eye, mm, Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, definitely. A few badges, but not too many. We've got 95 driving layup, 98 driving dunk. God damn. 90 mid-range, 89-3, 86 ball control, well-rounded defense, great rebounding, and great speed as well. Oh, damn. Billy Cunningham, you actually look... It's like, what, what is that picture? Why is it in, like, two pixels? Why is it not a HD picture? Come on, 2K. Be better. It's actually not a bad card. 6-6 six, six is the only limiting factor of him being at the powerful position. That is a brilliant card. Does that get into our starting lineup? Does that... Not in there. Does it fit in here? Is it easy better than a Cedric Maxwell type card? There's a lot of green to Billy. There's a lot of green to Billy. 33 hops against 27. God damn, man. Maybe he's going to be in right there. I don't know. You guys have to let me know. I'm sure you know what a jump shot he has off the top of my head. I can't remember what jump shot he has, but hopefully it's not the big trash. Right, let's quickly touch upon the new cards that came out today. So we had an Amethyst Darius Garland, who's actually coming in as one of the best Amethyst guards in the game. Uh, great driving layout, 85 driving dunk, not bad. Great shooting, great passing, 88 perimeter defense, and 97 speed and acceleration with 95 lateral quickness. That's a fantastic, fantastic card. And he's got a really ru nice release. I can't remember what it is, but I know that it is a good one. Next up, we've got Spencer Dinwiddie, 6'6". Six six. Again, 96 driver out, 93 ball. Great passing, good defense, great speed. Two really solid point guards right here. But Darius Garland does have half steady. Uh, and if you guys know anything about me, you know I don't like that badge on uh, current gen players. As a big man, we had Pink Diamond Nikola Vucevic coming through. 84 driving up, 80 driving dunk, pretty average. Great shooting though, like way above average shooting there. Good passing, good defense, not insane defense, but good defense. Insane rebounding, and then just the 80 speed acceleration and lateral quickness. So definitely not incredible. And Hoff badges, got a lot of Hall of Fame shooting badges, but not many defensive ones. Uh, and then you get the highlight film himself, the highlight reel himself, Galaxy Opal Dominique Wilkins. 97 driving up, 98 driving dunk, 96 mid, 91 3, 86 ball control, 92 perimeter defense, and 97 speed and acceleration, and 95 lateral quickness with the 32 Hall of Fame badges. 32, is that it? Wait, who had... Oh, no, it was... um Yeah, it was, I was like, who's had 33 Hall of Fame badges? That was Billy Cunningham. So, yeah, that, that works out pretty evenly. But, yeah, 300k for Neek. I don't know about that one, Chief. I, I would not recommend. The card art, that's actually pretty cool. I really actually like that. It's kind of like the star for the grand prize that we've just seen. Uh, but I actually quite like that. I actually think that looks quite good. Right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into a stream. And we will get a bit more grinding done on this account. So I'll see you guys in a second when hopefully we've completed a few more games of domination. And I think we'll get through this signature Dwayne Wade challenge. Now we won't be opening that up today because obviously so much has already happened but that will either be coming tomorrow or on Thursday so I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright guys we are back after my stream and what an eventful night it has been. So as of yet there have still been no confirmed sightings of the Tyrone Lou or Tyrone Lou card, the Ty Lou gold card. However, somebody on PC managed to go ahead and hack their way through the back end of 2K and do whatever type of madness they had to do, and they got Dark Matter J.R. Smith. I'm not lying, there's pictures on Twitter. So, there is technically a Dark Matter J.R. Smith in the world right now, but still no gold tie lose, which is mental. Um, so that happened tonight, but also in terms of actually playing the game, we got through another game 
of domination. So we're now seven games through, which is brilliant. We've done the weekly challenge and we've also done the signature challenge, which means in either tomorrow's episode or Thursday's episode, we're going to be opening up these packs right here. We've also managed to hit level 28, but again, we'll open up that pack tomorrow or Thursday. So the way that this week's going to go, if we get moments cards tomorrow, it'll be a no money spent episode tomorrow with the Hall of Fame badge, Diamond Shoe, um, Eric Bledsoe from level 28, and probably that Diamond Shoe pack from level 29 as well. If there's no moments cards tomorrow, then tomorrow will be my first ever vlog. I know, I'm nervous um, about my car and the whole situation with that. That will be dropping tomorrow. And then we'll have a no money spent episode on Thursday when there should be moments cards. And then again, obviously on Thursday, we'll talk about all the Diamond Shoe, Diamond Contract business. Diamond Shoe Hall of Fame badge business will definitely be level 29 by Thursday, that's for sure. And again, the Eric Bledsoe card. So that is the plan for this week. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. We've done manage to get the grand prize once again. For the fourth time this year, which I did not realise we managed to do it that many, but we have. Um, and yeah, we've got the better one. We got two, we didn't miss out on two of the bad ones. Connie Hawkins, well, Connie Hawkins was bad, but we missed out on Bob Love, who was not very good. But we've got Billy Cunningham, and uh, I'm very happy with that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.